You'll see soon enough. Pressing the program. Wrong go game chosen for that. All right. <laughs> it looks like we're actually live in here. All right. Hello, everyone. And welcome back to Bingathon Summer 2022. Um, you see, it is actually me speaking right now, not your actual scheduled host. That is because I have an announcement. Ooh, I know. Big, the big boss has, has an announcement. Gary. But, uh, you know, Yokozik Island Express uh, was sponsored by... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm talking words already. No, Yoku's Island Express was publi published uh, by our sponsor, Team17, as you might know. And uh, regarding our sponsor, I do have an announcement. Because... Drum rolls, please. I don't know if you heard any of that or not. But... <clears throat> Our sponsor, Team17, is gonna be matching the next $500 in donations towards Doctors Without Borders. That's right, meaning once we have reached $2,450 onto that tracker, our sponsor, Team17, will come through with a big $500 donation and putting them right onto that sweet, sweet number. All right, All right. let's go. So uh, keep donating, guys. Keep donating. Make sure you reach that number so that we get to so that we get that so that we get those sweet, sweet five hundred dollars on top of it. And uh, you know, Team Seventy, they're they're a great company. They're great to work with, so uh, do make sure to give uh, the, the games they have like uh, recently uh, announced a, a look up. There, there are some awesome games onto this. And, uh, yeah, that is that for now. Uh, but with this, I'm gonna throw it over to X Wing. Sorry for hijacking uh, the start of your run like this, but hey, oh, we, 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 I had to take the opportunity in here. <laughs> Yeah, just shoot the credits because it saves their Team 17 as well. So I might begin and uh, yeah, just start the run. Uh, um, I want to explain what I'm going to do and which row, column or TLBR or whatever I'm going to do in the run, of course. Because I don't know what the board is. So in 3, 2, 1, let's go. Black Gamer. Okay, why is there an intro? Interesting. It's fine. <laughs> so I have time to look over the the board. <laughs> that is not fun. Uh, column two, row one is not fun. The totems. Uh, Traitor spirits is definitely not fun. Chief bumpers are not fun. Trackers is not fun. I see what I'm gonna do. Uh, row five. So I have to talk to four people. They are all over the map always. Uh, Sue, Roly Poly, Leaper, and Itakba. Hit the all in the all station. Read eight signs, which is basically free. I should get this in like five minutes or no, a bit more, like like eight minutes or so. And fall off four cliffs is, is basically also free. And close all station hatches is pretty good because that fits very well with the uh, uh, hit the owl. Um, that is actually way too easy. I could be done in like twenty minutes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, I I could do more if if you want to see more. But there are so many bad. 
what is column five? So here is the first uh, main item that I'm gonna need for uh, like everything, especially also for golds like um, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, close to all station edges. So far, this is like a normal speed run route. <laughs> this is nothing special. Like everyone gonna do this in, like almost any speedrunner is this exact thing. Uh, phosphor snap, pretty cool skip, which I did not first try, but this, that way you're gonna see what happens if you fail it. That's why I do short tolerance so I get not launched away. And that happens if it works. Here I need 30 fruits, good for me that there are fruits in these spots everywhere, like in Zelda or other games. And these doors we can open with some runes. So if this is gonna be a short run... Yeah, this is gonna be a really short run. Then maybe we better remind these people that we have some bit wars for the next run coming up. The uh, Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania run. Uh, the character choice is still up for grabs. Sonics is solidly in the lead with $50 by now. Uh, Q Rui is with $3 in second positions. The top two characters will be uh, picked. So if you want to influence that, you can still get your donations in and have your favorite character pushed into the second spot or maybe even dethrone Sonic, who knows. And then we also have for a bit later the uh, bit was going on for Hades, the weapon of choice. Fists are currently leading with $10, but that's also another easy one for crabs. And the Star Wars the Old, uh, Knights of the Old Republic character name usually stands by at Baby Yoda for $15. If you want to change that, you can. You still have some time, but keep it in mind. Okay, um, so the read 8 sign is going to be done in, in just a moment. This is going to be so fast because there are signs all over the place. Like in, in just a moment. Um, the the ore station is quite a, a bit of way, like five or ten minutes or so. The cliffs I'm gonna do at the end. Oh, this was not a cliff, this was just a throwback down. I have to walk off a cliff for these goals. And they have to be a certain range, so it's not like a... Hey, I jumped down one screen or so, it, it must be a really a big cliff like the waterfall or something crazy. And the four people I have to talk, uh, Sue is pretty easy, he is uh, in the middle of the map basically. Um, Roly Poly is in the very bottom right. Leaper is on the way to the dive fish. I don't need the dive fish, but that's fine. And Itaqua is up in uh, Ivory, where I want to go anyway. But first of all, we have to go inside here and get our next ability, which is going to be the slug bag. That I do. I need the slug bag for anything. Yeah, I mean, I could do everything without the slug bag, I believe. Could I? no, I need it for the for the ore station. So yeah, for the ore station, I need it. Otherwise, I could skip it actually with the crazy skips, which we do in randomizers sometimes. Because the slugback could be in weird positions, so you have to go everywhere without them, without them, uh, the slugback. And uh, yeah, just make it easy for me <laughs> and just grab the item. And of course, the cliffs gonna fall down in the waterfall ones. Uh, I'm gonna fall down at Quinby once, 
Well, I'm gonna do fall one more time. A chirp I can fall down. And let's fall down the last time. A tip off, yeah. That's that's a cool route. I can already see where I'm going completely. Like I'm gonna do a slug back now. Then I'm gonna do pole skip. Gonna get over to uh, Sue and uh, to Leaper and Roly Poly. And then I'm gonna travel all the way back. So I need actually a bit of money. I hope I get enough. Because I need 100 at the end. Like, I, I need way more than 100. I should have picked up a, a wallet. I'm gonna make it a short detour, like 10 seconds or so, to get a wallet. So it gets a bit easier. There's the slug bag. And now we're gonna do our second little trick that uh, speedrunner learns. It's the backtrack slug. Normally you have to destroy these black rocks, but, uh, and go into two additional uh, pinball areas. But if you use the slug vac as a rocket jump or slug jump, uh, you can boost yourself back into this pipe so you don't have to do the pinball areas. And with boosting me from one slug to another, I can extend the timer because every slug only holds for 15 seconds. And it's gonna be really tough if you use the first slug to knock off this one. So this, for example, is not a big cliff. <laughs> that is not one of the four that I need. That was not two seconds. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do now, I, I just grabbed a wallet that is for free, basically. Um, the thing is, it costs normally 100. If you don't have 100 you and you say yes, uh, a uh, skipper says uh, he is sad that I don't have so much fruit and he gives it me anyway and I can pay later. Well, <laughs> most people never pay him. <laughs> and here is Sue. Oh, I f forgot the signs. So let's start counting signs. Here's one. Hey, here's another one. So, let's get over here. Hey, look at that, there's another sign. Three. Hey, look at that, there's another sign. Four. Four signs. Uh, let's just do the rest somewhere else. <laughs> um, I need the fruits actually at the moment. So I'm not going to waste them here. Here is a little trick we do in some speedruns. We do this in some. I believe in 100% we're gonna do this. Okay, let's and this I actually don't need. Oh, wait. Fruits. Always gonna take fruits here. Oh yeah, right. I have to do another skip. Almost forgot about this one. <laughs> it's a really annoying skip. So if you turn around right after a leap, you get some extra momentum and you just can get over this uh, little pipe where I dropped in earlier. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. All good. <laughs> I want these fruits. Also, here are some fruits. Perfect, I'm over 100. That's exactly what I want. So down here is the beeline that brings me back up. And I forgot the drop from B. It's fine, I can still do it. Uh, over here is Roly Poly. Hello Roly Poly. 
And there was another sign, I believe, that says beeline, right? Yeah. There's sign number five, for example. Let's see what this sign says. Welcome to the beehive. Sign number six and a drop from the cliff here. That's one of them. So, I'm really low on fruits, but that's gonna change soon. I need like 30 or so. It's completely fine. Is here a sign? Yeah, down here is this. There it says uh, Skull Gang only. Stay out. Hide out. And there is the eighth sign. Oh, that was a bit short. Church of the Space Monks. In here we have another NPC that I need called Leaper. Also I could get here the dive ability but I don't need it so why wasting time for that. Hi Leaper. So now I have good fruit count. I could get more here, but not necessary. So. I have to walk all the way back here because I cannot get the beeline. Besides with an insane skip that I need like 10 minutes for, if I want to go for it. Or if you uh, use the slugfig as I used it and you launch into it, but that way you don't save time. Or if you beat the boss actually, and I'm not gonna beat the boss. Here's a second uh, leap, uh, fall off the cliff. Let's do one of the best uh, skips in the game. Called Hijack, the, the original Hijack, not the yellow one that I did earlier on the on the right side. This time we're gonna do it in the middle where the, all the beelines are. And that way we get to the most important beeline, the ivory one. And we're gonna first go to Itakwa, so we finish that goal. Itakwa is here. Hi. And we're not gonna go further up. That's completely not needed. Now we're gonna drop off a third uh, cliff over here on the left side at chirp Whee! and we are at the ore station which is perfect because i need two golds here like uh, you have to call the the next run out I'm, I'm done in like three or four minutes <laughs> um, like i said it's a really short run the, this this row is just insane good. So all the others have something weird and stupid. Oh, not want to go there. Perfect. Oh, I still... Yeah. 
yeah, the one cliff is gonna be the end. And while you're going on with super speed, I want to remind everybody again that we're collecting donations for Doctors Without Borders during the whole duration of this marathon. Doctors Without Borders has been working in many countries with serious refugee crises that have lasted many years, which to this day are still considered emergency work because the crisis has been ongoing for so long and therefore they need the resources all the time to provide the best help you can. Every dollar is going to this wonderful uh, 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 organization and you can also win something. Our sponsor uh, game seven, uh, Team 17 is not only giving us wonderful prizes in form of game packs which you can win by donating but they will also uh, meet $500 uh, of an extension, which means that by the time we reach $2,400, they will stack it up even more. And uh, for only $25 of donation, you can be the owner of one of their game packs, including a Couch Corp game pack, the Metroidvania game pack, Roguelite game pack, Strategy game pack, or maybe the one that would I would like the most, the speedrun starter game pack all you have to do donate $25 over the course of this marathon and you're in for the uh, run so here is the the squirrel actually uh, it's a combination of a squirrel and an owl but we called it owl in the bingo so it is easier to write to read and i did hit it hey <laughs> And right after it, I closed both of the hatches. So that's two goals. And the run gonna be end in like 10 seconds. Because here on the left, it's gonna be my last cliff that I drop off. And I'm gonna be at the very beginning. Whee! And that's time. GG. GG in the next one. So like, um, the, the big problem is I can mark those in red. Uh, bleak Heart. I need like 15 minutes for that. Uh, six Chiva Bumpers. E each Chiva Bumper need 80 fruits. You can imagine how long it takes to, to get so many fruits. Uh, save all four Trader Spirits. That's a side quest where I have to die 50 times, get the dive fish, and uh, do the side quest, of course. That's like 10 minutes at least. Uh, activate Screech and Spiner Totem. Need the dive fish and do a certain amount of side quests and actually main quest stuff. Obtain three trackers is not that bad, but a lot of travel, get a lot of items or money as well. So these goals and. and I really wanted to um, to uh, what I say um, not do. <laughs> so um, yeah, and Ruby Ball also uh, it needs the red color, which is uh, waiting three minutes at the tree that you saw earlier. So these like six golds did exclude all the other bingo options for me. So that was the only one that I was able to do basically. So if I would do now another bingo, because I have like 20 minutes more, I would not be able to do it in 20 minutes. <laughs> right. be because each of these red goals need like 10 to 15 minutes. Well, <laughs> thanks X-Wing for this super fast run then. Uh, please make sure to leave a follow for X-Wing to see more yokai in the future. Um, we still have that bit war ongoing uh, for the very next game, which is the Super Monkey uh, Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania run. This is gonna be a 2v2 lockout bingo race and you can decide for the characters. Um, you still only have a couple more minutes left to decide that. Sonic is in the lead. 
I heard somebody saying something about they want to play Morgana. Morgana is currently standing at zero dollars, but with just four dollars, you could catapult her past Kyrie or Kiryu. I don't know how to pronounce that properly, but and turn her into the second character. Yeah, so thanks for watching and uh, have fun with the rest of the marathon. Okay, um... Doctors Without Borders was formed in 1971 in France by doctors and journalists who'd worked in the famine and war in Biafra, modern day Eastern Nigeria. Their aim was to establish an independent organization that focused on delivering emergency medical care quickly, effectively, and impartially for people most in need. That's what we've been striving to do ever since. And today, Doctors Without Borders, which is known internationally by our original French name, Médecins Sans Frontières, or MSF is a global organization. At any given time, we have literally tens of thousands of staff operating in more than 70 countries. Right now, we are more than 30,000 professionals who come from every corner of the planet. These are some of the faces of my colleagues, a cross-section of people who work for Doctors Without Borders around the world. Most international staff are deployed for months at a time, depending on the needs, the circumstances, or a field worker's skill set. We are doctors, nurses, midwives, and other healthcare professionals. We are builders, organizers, and problem solvers. We're multinational, multicultural, 
and multi-talented. In a sense, we're a lot like you. So now let's talk about what we actually do. Broadly, Doctors Without Borders delivers emergency aid to people in need. People affected by armed conflict, natural disasters and epidemics, or people who have been denied medical care for political reasons. Our actions are always about our patients. Each person is treated with humanity and respect. We're independent from political and economic agendas or anyone's military objectives, and we believe deeply in neutrality. Doctors Without Borders does not take sides in an armed conflict or make statements about who's right and who's wrong. We're also impartial. Our actions are based on what we have independently verified as the needs of our patients. We treat people regardless of race, religion, or political affiliation. It's our ability to translate our principles into action that sets us apart. Product not yet rated. Houston, Tranquility Base here. The Beagle has landed. I repeat, the Beagle has landed. <laughs> Hello there, my faithful followers. I'm Burt Biscuit, and I arrived at the surface of this unknown planet to bring you some goodness straight from the future. Let's start with big things. The Futurist Update allows you to build headquarters fit for the space age. Need more inspiration for the decor? How about using the Dolomite Chamber to turn one of your followers into state-of-the-art Dolomite Slab? Want to feel like a mad scientist? How about a human-tested facility? <laughs> oh, and just be careful not to uh, overdo it. Now, as a model cultist, you should always remember to keep me, your cult leader, happy. I'll now tell you exactly what I want through the new leader demand system. Make sure I'm satisfied and be rewarded. Fail to fulfill my wishes and get punished. Simple, right? Of course, there's more. We're giving you a full rework of our divine inspiration system. Some fresh outfits, new objects, more engaged, crisp special characters, adaptive mission scaling, and more mission choices. Whew. This might be a small step for a cult leader, but it clearly is a giant leap for cult kind. There's so much goodness. So check out the Futurist Update for Honey, I Joined a Cult. Available now in Steam Early Access. everybody in stream this is Seneth coming back one of your hosts here for bingo thon 2022 i just want to quickly remind everyone why we are here today uh, we're here to support doctors without borders it's an organization that offers medical humanitarian assistance to people based solely on need irrespective of race religion gender or political affiliation their frontline workers, including doctors, nurses, and logisticians, are often among the first on the scene when people's lives are upended by conflict, disease, outbreak, and other disasters. Um, it's a very important cause. Thank you so much for every dollar that you have helped donate towards this cause. We've raised $1,952. Um, if we reach $2,452, we're going to get a matching donation from Team 17, one of our sponsors, of $500. So be sure to start donating if you want to see that happen. Because that means that we're going to be at almost $3,000 once we get to that point. Um, so yeah, I mean, just like that, we're going to go from 2000 to $3,000 inside of a heartbeat. Um, so start seeing those donations now, um, just to quickly, uh, talk about what we have coming up, um, after our super monkey ball banana mania, um, we do have star Wars Knights of the old Republic. There is a bunch, and I do mean a bunch of incentives that you can donate towards in the Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Be sure to start donating right now if you want to see those happen. Um, it is a tiered 
incentive unlock, the very first here is 50 bucks. Um, so you wanna make sure that you hit that, that will randomize the music. And for a total of $350, we're gonna unlock every single tier. You can also un um, name the character. Right now, Baby Yoda is in the lead by $15. Um, and you could submit your own name, whatever you would like. Um, I know there's been a couple of meme names, so be sure to hit those as quickly as you can. Um, we have a bunch of different prizes that you can grab for donating. Um, so all sorts of reasons to donate. We got the neutral mug, the summer theme mug, Mario Strikers Battle League, um, all the Team 17 packs. We have the Couch Co-op pack, the Metroidvania pack, the Roguelike pack, the Speed Run pack, the Strategy pack, and of course, the Grand Prize. We also have Fire Emblem Warriors and the Bingo Game. Um, so yeah, we're just kind of waiting for the next run to get set up here, but stick with us just a moment. I may be back with more. Hey all this is Seneth coming back just to let you know that the end of hosting shift for tonight uh, for myself and for uh, SO5Z has come to an end. Um, I know you all are crying. You're all going to miss us. Thank you so much for having both of us here. We've tried our best. Um, I hope you really enjoyed the uh, D&D game that we really quickly played for the hosts. Um, hopefully we can come back with that in the next Bingo-thon. Um, and you can find me here tomorrow. I think it's uh, in the morning for me. I'm post US, so um, I'll see you all in the morning for myself. But otherwise, yeah, keep donating. I want to see this get over $3,000 by the time I wake up. And uh, so 5 z how about you? Yeah, I'll be back tomorrow as well. I'll be doing the noon shift for me. I think it's uh, 10 UTC. So I don't expect you to get 3,000, but I want to see the 2,000 correct. Come on, be pals, be true gamers, and donate for this awesome cause. Well, definitely. see you again tomorrow then. Bye-bye. All right, everybody. This is BZ Archer taking over the hosting duties. We are getting ready for our next run, which is going to be Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania 2v2 Lockout Bingo. We'll have that coming up shortly. And just to remind anyone who is tuning in for Banana Mania, Team 17 has announced they will match the next $500 in donations. You want to get us to $2,000? You want to get us to $2,500? You get us to $2,500 and all of a sudden, boom, that $3,000 happens. 
We're collecting money for Doctors Without Borders. There are a bunch of fun prizes you can win. Go for it, guys. This is going to be a lot of fun. We want to see this happen. And with any luck, you guys can help us make that happen tonight. Do you also have some bid wars going on? We have our Knights of the Old Republic and our Hades Weapon Selection Bingo, which since I'm the one running it, I'm a little bit, you know, invested in. And if you donate now before the Monkey Ball run starts, we do have the Monkey Ball character choice bid war going on. Right now, Sonic is in fit the lead with $50, and Kiryu will be our second place selection with $3. So I'm just saying, you could bump that up if you'd like to see Baby Robo, for example. Keep it in mind. Hello. 